Hey, it's Ken Anderson here. Just thought I'd make a quick video and show you what I do to uh, find a winning design and how to make it profitable on Teespring. I know there's a lot of training and programs and software out there that uh, is, you know, supposed to be the, the miracle tool and they're promoted that way. And unfortunately, uh, you can follow those systems and most of the time you're going to have very limited success. Uh, let's go through the process of what would normally happen when it comes to designing a t-shirt for Teespring. Uh, the very first thing that's going to happen is you're going to do some searching and you're going to come up with an idea. You think it's going to make you rich, you think it's going to sell like crazy when people see this shirt, it's going to be amazing, I'll make a pile of money. So. Here's what happens. Do a little bit of an arrow there. It's an ugly arrow. We send that idea over to a designer. And we say, look, I've got a great idea. We might send them some examples of shirts and say, look, this one has sold really well. I found this with a great piece of software. I'm going to target better than the, the, the previous guy. I'm going to pick up a whole bunch of sales. It's going to be amazing. The designer gets to work and comes up with, there's another ugly arrow. Your t-shirt. And I'll just well, anyway, there it is. This is a typical process idea, designer. He comes up with a shirt. You think it's going to be amazing. Here's the problem. The, the designer may be a designer, but it doesn't mean that, that even if it looks good, that it's going to sell. We have to find out if that shirt is going to sell before we go and spend a bunch of money. So here's what I do. I change this process up a little bit. I ask my designer to make four variations of this shirt. And I'll show you exactly what I do. Let's just go and take a look. And let's go onto one of my fan pages. Now, this is an example. Don't worry about the copyright infringement. This shirt isn't being sold. I put this together so that I could show you exactly how this works. Um, anyway, here's what I did. I started a quick fan page because it's always nice to have your ad attached to a specific fan page. I love Harley Davidson. It's pretty simple. This is what I did. Here's my four designs. We're releasing a t-shirt. Please help us select the best design. Comment below with one, two, three, or four. We appreciate your feedback. So the very first step is to find out which variation of that catchy phrase is going to be the most popular. Now it's really important that you don't confuse the most popular with commercial value. That's step number two. The first one I like to find is which is the most popular. So here's what I did. I spent $10. And I ask people to comment. I end up getting 134 comments. Now, the people that I targeted was the exact audience that I planned on selling the shirt to. I spent my time, I came up with a great target audience. I knew I had a good audience because I got a lot of feedback, so I knew that I had hit the right audience. So, uh, going through it, number four was the clear winner by about 95 percent. Now I release a shirt to sell for a couple days just to put together a case study. I then took it down and was done with it. The most popular was number four. So typically you would go and create a shirt with your designer and say hey number four is the most popular make the shirt I'm gonna put it up on Teespring. Now, if you follow all of these steps and you put it up on Teespring, you may still find that it doesn't sell. Because the most popular shirt doesn't necessarily make you the most money. 
the very next step is finding the commercial value. And I'll tell you um, that when I did my test for commercial value, number four was not the winner. Number four is not the one that was going to make money, even though it was the most popular. And I'll tell you, if you go to Winello, if you go to uh, a lot of these sites and you see which ones are getting all the repins and all the promotion and all the likes doesn't mean that it's going to make any money. I'll tell you that after doing a test for commercial value, the clear one winner was number one. In the popularity contest, it actually came in third. But it had commercial value. When I put it in front of the right audience for a couple of days, it sold like crazy. So anyway, in video number two, we're going to talk about commercial value. I've put together a, a, a bunch of videos. There's no charge. Uh, there's no cost. There's, there's nothing other than some videos that are going to help you sell shirts on Teespring. Marketing and, and, and uh, tips and strategies. Anyway, right below this video in the description, you'll find a link to um, my subscription form. All you're gonna have to do is click on that link. You're gonna go to the subscription, enter your email address, and I'm gonna send those videos right to your inbox. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. I really hoped it helped, and I hope that you subscribe and get the rest of the videos and that you actually start to make some money with your selling t-shirts on Teespring. Anyway, thanks for watching the video and have a great day.